We've all heard of magnets. Magnets are what make your car run. They're what generate the electricity that lets you read a book at night. And they're what lets you pay for your gas with a credit card. But what exactly is a magnet? What makes some materials, like iron and neodymium, magnetic, while other materials, like copper, tin, and plastic, are not? To answer that question, we'll have to look through a microscope. Scientists now believe that all magnetic fields are created by those all too familiar charges from your days of chemistry, electrons. All moving electrons, whether they're zipping down a power cord or s orbiting around an atomic nucleus, generate a tiny magnetic field. Those fields may be small, but they add up, with the potential to create fields large enough to encompass the entire Earth. When we look at this piece of iron under a microscope, we see what appear to be tiny cells. These cells are called domains. In metals like iron, quantum mechanical effects cause the electrons in these domains to share the direction of their magnetic field with other electrons. As a result, each domain has an individual magnetic field. In a odd magnetic material, these fields point in random directions, like toothpicks scattered on a table. The thousands of domains pointing one way cancel out thousands pointing the other. The result is a non-magnetic piece of iron. When we look at this magnet, however, we see that the domains are preferentially aligned in one direction. What has happened is that as this magnet was made, its domains were twisted by an outside force, such as another magnetic field, so that most of them point in the same direction. Instead of cancelling out, all these magnetic fields add up, creating a much stronger magnetic field that surrounds the entire piece of iron. And we get a magnet. <laughs>